Hello and welcome to Caveo Bite Size Learnings. Today's topic is the integration of Microsoft's VS Code development environment with Salesforce for offline editing and version control. Caveo Bite Size Learnings are as short as they are sweet, so let's get started. You've already got Caveo for Salesforce installed and you've built a great search page. And you know you can edit it right in your browser using our lightning powered drag and drop editor. In addition to its drag and drop interface, our editor allows you to work with the underlying code in the code view. However, while our built-in editor is a great solution for many cases, sometimes you'll need to dive a little deeper into the code to make the changes you need. Well, one way to do this is to use Salesforce's own editor, which will allow you to manage every element of your environment. However, this is not a preferred solution. The editor itself is not well suited to many development tasks, and the environment does not easily support version control, which is crucial for large projects with multiple development resources. There are several options to address these issues, and the one we will be discussing here is Microsoft's new Visual Studio Code product, which is built on open source technologies and provides a consistent, high quality development environment across multiple platforms. To download Visual Studio Code, go to code.visualstudio.com and click the download link. Once downloaded and expanded, you can run the application and go to the extensions menu and search for Coveo. Coveo has built an extension for VS Code called VS Force, which handles the integration between Salesforce and your VS Code development environment. Once the listing comes up, click on the install button and within a few seconds, the extension will be installed. Going into the Explorer view, you'll see a note from VS Code that there are no folders open. VS Code wants to have projects divided into folders. We'll go ahead and create one for this VS Force demo. The first thing we have to do is create a package manifest file which tells Salesforce which files we wish to download. Package manifests can be very complex and detailed, but for purposes of this demonstration, I'm using a very simple one which will just provide access to all of my Visual Force pages and components. Next, we have to configure our connection. We can set everything up at the user level, but there is a good chance that your configurations will have to differ across different projects. So, we typically recommend that settings be adjusted at the workspace level. To do so, scroll to the bottom of the settings screen and copy across options for your username your password, and your security token. In some cases, you may need to change your login URL and namespace, but for the purposes of this demo, we'll leave those at their defaults. I like the option to push on save for solo projects, so I'll copy that over and set it to true. However, for projects with multiple developers, it is probably wise to leave it as false and deploy full package updates manually. Enter your credentials in the newly created workspace preferences file. If you don't know your security token, you can request a new one by going back into your Salesforce environment, clicking on your account menu, and choosing the option to view your settings. From there, expand the personal tab and choose reset my security token. Please note that if you're using a security token with this account, in any other integrations, performing this reset will break those configurations until you have plugged in the newly created token. I'll go ahead and reset my token by clicking the button. And then I'll go back to VS Code's Preferences Editor, where I'll insert my new token once I've received the email. Now that I've edited and saved my preferences, I can see in the Explorer view that I've got a handful of options, including one to show all commands. Doing so will give me a simple command line where I can select the option to retrieve the files referred to by the package manifest. The status bar at the bottom of the screen shows current activity and connectivity state. And when the process is completed, you will see a notification at the top of the screen. Once done downloading, the Explorer view will show all of your downloaded files as expected. And you can drill down, select, and modify them conveniently and quickly 
in VS Code's Excellent Editor. You can save the file to push it based on the setting we selected previously. And you can push the whole package via the deploy option in the command line. It is worth noting that Salesforce has a cache on their side, which means that it can take some time for deployed packages to appear updated in the Salesforce interface. Finally, if you are interested in version control, you'll see that Git is a first-class citizen of Visual Studio Code. Just go to the Git menu and initialize your repository for local source control. Because it is a standard implementation of Git, you can also take additional steps and put your project online for your team using GitHub or other Git hosting services. Thank you for watching this edition of Coveo Bite Size Learning. Please share this with your team and subscribe to the Coveo Insights channel in order to keep your search implementation relevant.